Hello, Virgo. Getting ready to do your reading. Oh my goodness, things fell. Okay, what is going on for Virgo spirit? What do they need to know? What is going on for Virgo at this time? What is the overall energy? Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Two of Coins. Wow, okay, nice energy in the outcome, the star card, Hangman, seeing something differently. Okay. Definitely could be a change in perspective this week or a change in something. Um, Seven of Cups, some sort of idea or message or let's see, Moon, Ace of Coin, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's something, okay. So it definitely could be um, a message, an idea, an offer, maybe from a Pisces or Aquarius, does not need to be. You're under the deck right now, so I feel like you are thinking about this. This could be something that you find on your own or somebody sends you a message or something you have a conversation with someone. Actually, I think someone is going to tell you because Page of Wands would be communication, maybe from a fire sign, but if not, it's good. It's like a good message. It's This is something you don't see coming. Um, five of Swords. So I feel like you're... Yes, you're happy. Like this is like yes, this yes, nine of cups. Exactly, that's the energy I'm picking up. Like yes, this is meant for me. This person, this situation, this job, this opportunity. You're looking at it like this is going to really grow. This is going to make me money, or this is going to be a long-term relationship. This is something that's really positive, really positive. And you feel kind of a winner with the five of swords. So what's this two of coins again? Making a decision, three of cups. Yeah, so you're celebrating. You're telling people about this. So you're going to make some sort of change. Eight of cups. You're letting something go. You're like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm moving. I'm gone. See this moon here? This is this moon here. This is like you're going towards this, this unknown idea, this, this new decision. Moon, please. Yep. Oh, wow. So maybe you don't have to work anymore. Maybe you're going to be quitting a job. Let's do one more for the, after the death card. Something you're working on. You're like, nope, I'm done with that. I'm not going to have to work anymore. I'm now going to have... Um, more money in the bank account, it's gonna come easier, it's a different, being out in the cold, but obviously you don't seem to care, but deception, or you're lying to people, you're telling, you're not telling them you're quitting, one more please, the hermit, oh, what are you guys doing? I like this though, as a Scorpio, I kinda of like that, I mean, to me it's like getting a job, or you have a job, you hate the job, and then you just quit, you just don't show up. <laughs> I mean, probably not the best thing to do for your future, you know, your resume, your CV, but anyways, no judgment here. So victory about work. So maybe you're going towards new work. So you're ending whatever this is here. You may feel, I mean, you're not going to be out in the cold. But again, like if you let someone thing go, obviously there could be an empty space there. That's okay. But you're not telling people. I kind of feel like also like you may. Okay. How do I say this? It's not that you want people to feel sorry for you. But yet people may be like, oh, you know, thinking, oh, that ended. Oh, Virgo's missing, you know, lost a job or Virgo had to move or something. But there's something else good taking its place. Other people may not know about. You might be keeping the secret, keeping your cards close to your vest. Because, I mean, this really looks good. This is like a celebration up here. What is this page of coin? Okay, so this might have to do with an earth sign. I'm sorry, an air sign. Laura, it has to do maybe with a water sign. We have Pisces, we have Scorpio possibly. There's a King of Cups sitting here. Could be Sagittarius, but um, there's no rush. There's no need to worry. What is this Ace? What is this Star card? Ace of Cups, the World, Magician, and you're walking away. Yeah. You're going to get some sort of love offer or even it's a work offer. Wheel of Fortune under the deck. It's kind of like it slides in. You know it's going to work out. You don't have to stress. You're not telling people. You're just going to kind of do your thing. People could be surprised, shocked, disappointed maybe even that you're leaving or moving on. But yeah, there's money here. I'm seeing there's money. There's, let's see. Wow. This actually looks like a love situation because, you know, right when I pulled this, it's like I don't have to work anymore. I don't have to worry about the stress of this job or this, you know, I hate this job. I hate this company. This person may have a lot of money, the ten of coins. I mean, they look like they do have money. It's like you've been manifesting this, Virgo. I have a feeling this is a connection you've been manifesting for a while and it is going to make you happy. You got the sun here. Like I got exactly the five of swords, like a winner. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you definitely may not be telling people. What is the message for Virgo? Stability. This relationship, this person is, is going to bring you 
um, stability. So take that leap of faith. What would this person tell you? What would this person tell you? So many things remind me of you. I can't get enough of you. I can be myself when I'm around you. And one more, please. I want you. It's interesting. Is under the deck. I'm going to show you over here. The hangman was under the deck. Then I see the six of coins and the moon. It definitely feels like something that, um, see, look, someone was holding on, holding back, but it could be like a gift of money. It could be, it's something that's going to make you look twice. It's going to make you think twice. It's going to give you the idea like, wow, yeah, I'm going in this direction. This is a good direction. This is more abundance over here. Um, this person's very generous. This is, person has a lot of money. Uh, this person is in love with me. So I'm going to go this, this, this way. You're literally going from like, I see underneath the lovers, the five of cups to the lovers from like being sad to being happy. So what is going on here for Virgo? What is this energy? There's a change. All right. Big changes. Definitely. You're going to have some sort of realization about money and abundance. See, be at peace, serenity. So again, like the star card here and the four swords, even this is kind of my lover's card too, you guys know, but, um, it has like being at peace with this new opportunity, with this person. I feel like you've been very tired and drained Virgo. You've been waiting for an opportunity like this or this person. Again, it's going to come in different ways for different people, but it's definitely, it feels like the stress is gone. It looks like a love relationship. Um, maybe you want it to be like a stay at home partner or stay at home mom or dad or something like that. And maybe that's what I'm seeing here, but it's something where it's like, you are not going to have to work or work as much. Maybe you can focus on a new business or do something different. Um, it's definitely a change in your lifestyle, Virgo. So it definitely looks good. Something's getting off the ground. Yeah, self-indulgence. You're going to be able to take care of yourself. This card talks about like self-worth and focusing on, yeah, focusing on yourself and shadow work. But I get like the card says self-appreciation, like doing things for you, doing what you want to do, talking, healing heart. It's arrow. You're going to meet someone and, and what was coming out was a date. So for some of you, this is a brand new person. Sunglasses under the deck. So it could be though someone around you that you already may talk to, you work with, you're around already because they could be watching you. And talking always tells me and date is that this is someone newer. So again, it's not like the coffee cup, which is, you know, people deeper and a deeper level. This person is very genuine and very healing. Again, they may definitely be a water sign. They just seem to care about your emotions, your feelings. Um, they could be also, I'm picking up Leo. Taurus is what it's coming through. I'm getting also Libra possibility coming through strong. But um, I think you're going to fall in love with this person fairly quickly. I feel like you know this person is a good match for you right off the bat. It's also what I'm picking up here. Abundance obviously could be other things besides money. So it could be moving to a different location that you like more. Um, having you know more friends, more time to play or enjoy and do the things you want to do. What is this person like? Let's get out our other deck. What is this person like? What do you, uh, what, what do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about them? So they're not over you. So again, you guys, you do know this person, but maybe just not very well, or maybe you guys are starting from ground zero. Sometimes when I get the dating card with someone you do know, it's like, you've got to start over. They have to, they have to take you out. They have to you know, start from scratch and do all those sweet things that people usually do when they're first dating someone, right? But they're not over you. They could be an awesome cook. Look at that was about to fall out. Love at first sight. See, that's what I'm saying. So this is going to vary. For some of you, you don't know them. Others of you, you may know them, but just maybe a little bit. You've been around each other. You've talked a little bit, something like that. Maybe this person's very loving. Yes. That's exactly what I'm getting from this person. Very loving. And it could be a meeting through friends. They may be on the slender side. That's under the deck. Okay, so I like these cards. These are being very specific. It could have something to do with food, eating out, um, cooking classes. They could know you from a friend. You may have met them for, for, through a friend. Like I said, that you haven't um, gotten to know them very well, but you have met them. 
but they are loving love at first sight there is this very strong connection what else do they, what do they like about virgo what do they like about you this could be a work relationship or this can mean that you guys work well together you guys have things in common when it comes to your work career job money or also that you work that you are willing to work on the connection you're willing to put in the effort some people you know aren't some people just don't want to do that they love that you are a perfect match you guys obviously get along really well they could be a virgo like you i was thinking that because you guys are also a very loving kind understanding sign but under the deck it says in the near future all right I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a really great week, Virgo, and I'll talk to you soon.